I am Anil Kumar and in this particular video we will talk about tangent ratio. We will actually move from uh, our concepts of lines, slopes, similar triangles to trigonometry with the help of tan ratio. Now let us see how. You all know that in straight lines what we learned is that if I have an equation say y equals to 2x. Let me take a very simple exa example, right? It really means that there is a line which has a slope of 2. It passes to your origin, right? So it is kind of a line like this. So this line, for example, is representing y equals to 2x, where horizontal axis is x, vertical axis is y. When we say 2x, that means if x is 1, if x is 1, then y is 2, right? So this value is 2. And if x is 0, y is 0. So it goes through origin also. If x is 2, right, then the y value will be 4, correct? So, so though likewise, we can get a lot of points, and all these points will lie on a straight line. And therefore, y equals to 2x will represent a straight line. Now we say slope of this line is what? we say slope m is equals to 2, right? We know this equation is kind of y equals to mx plus b, where b the y-intercept is origin for us. Slope is 2. And we also understand that we can find slope by rise over run. That is to say that if I consider any point, any two points on the line, now let me consider these two points, origin and the point 2, 4. In that case, slope is equals to, so we say slope is equals to rise over run, right? And we clearly know that rise over run is same. You could consider any two points. Even if I consider the point over just much before that, even then the rise over run will be same. The ratio is same. Now we say the slope of the line is is 2 and it doesn't really matter which two points we are considering. We could consider a point on this side also. We'll still get the slope as 2. And it is defined by the ratio which is rise over run. You also notice one thing about the lines is as slope is not changing, even the angle which the line makes with the horizontal in this case, this angle, let's call this angle as theta, it also remains same, right? So angle theta also remains same, whether you take this set of points or that set of point, just as the slope remains same. So there is a relation between this angle theta and the slope, that is rise over run. And that ratio in trigonometry, which we are going to now introduce to you, is given by the term tan theta. Tangent theta is the full form. Tan of theta is equals to rise over run, right? So in many cases, you can also treat this as slope. For a line, okay, we're only talking about a line in this case. So if we say, since the angle is related with rise over run, we give this ratio, rise over run, which is very useful ratio, a name and this name is tan theta for you okay now that gives us one huge flexibility the flexibility here is that now we know that the angle is same but how much is it that question is being answered by naming tan theta as the slope for a given line so then we say well theta is equals to tan inverse of this value too, right? And we can use our calculator and find the angle. So tan inverse will be shift tan. So you get tan inverse right there. You can put 2 there and then equal to. So you get 63.4349. So you get theta as equals to 63.4349. This is in degrees. So you get an idea of how much is that angle which represents the slope. Now we had been referring to this angle in saying gradient, right? 
you remember if you are driving in that case you say this road is very steep or sometimes you will read a sign that the gradient is high or negative right very high gradient right gradient or slope are related terms and now what we have done here is that we have related slope with the angle and that is what is the link between whatever we have learned to trigonometry. So that is one way of looking into it. So from the lengths of the sides we are now also trying to appreciate the angles which the lines make with the sides. So now that is what we are going to explore. Now let's have a second look at the newly defined tangent ratio. So we'll just draw this triangle once again here, right? So we'll make this triangle here again. Let us say that is the triangle where the angle in between is theta, okay? You could give any name to this angle. If the triangle is, let us say, ABC, in that case, we can call this as tan A also, right? name is based on the vertex or if I write some number here as I have written Greek symbol theta it will be called tan theta. Now since we know it is rise over run we also refer to this as with reference to angle theta this is what this is opposite side right and that is we are also noticing one more thing that we are making when we drop a perpendicular we have a right triangle. So in the right triangle, we have one side which is opposite to the angle, the other one is adjacent. So this ratio, which we just now defined as rise over run, we can say tan theta is equals to opposite side length over adjacent side length. So now, if we are talking about triangles, in that case, in a right triangle, we have a fixed ratio and that ratio which is ratio opposite sign over the adjacent side is called tan theta, right? So for the time being, we'll explore more about tan theta and then in the coming videos, we'll talk about other trigonometric ratios, right? So given any right triangle, if we know the sides, then we can find the angle. So that is a very good application of tan theta and of course you can find theta by finding let us say this ratio is known to us as let us say x in that case theta is going to be tan inverse of x correct just as we found for the slope of the line correct so so that is another part which we will be exploring and when we talk about tan in this sense then we say solve right triangle. So whenever we are considering right triangle, well, you could draw like this, correct? But anyway, that's general. So solving right triangle, tan ratio is very important to do so. And after that, we will take a few examples which will be kind of applications. Now, in applications, we have questions which are kind of height and distance. So whenever you have height and distance problems, you can always apply tan theta in this knowledge and solve those problems. Height and distance, right? You can consider this to be the height and that to be the distance, then you know the angle. And in such cases, this angle is called angle of elevation. So we'll have application questions where we are talking about height and distance and angle of elevation. This angle of elevation is the angle made with the horizontal. So angle of elevation is always of line of sight with horizontal. So these are critical things to remember which I thought we will highlight. Correct. So, so these, are, these are the cases which we are going to explore and in one set of videos where I am going to explore all these cases 
uh, we will just name that file as applications of tan ratios right so we will apply application of tan ratios to find slope as in this case or to solve a triangle as in this case right or to do some application questions which are related to height and distance so basically when we are talking about tan ratios we'll be taking up these kinds of questions so in the following videos i think with the examples you will appreciate how this simple concept helps us to solve so many real life situations so remember for the time being that tan represents the slope of a line it gives you the angle which the line makes with the horizontal it in a right triangle it could be opposite side over adjacent side and theta the angle can always be calculated by finding tan inverse of the value just as we did here right tan inverse of 2 and then we can have many examples well for example there's a tree here right and if we know the angle of elevation if we know this angle theta and if we know the distance let's say d in that case we can find the height correct so so that is a huge application which we are going to see in the coming examples where we sometimes also related to shadow for example you can see from the other side other side is kind of like this that is if there is sun here right then there could be a shadow giving you an angle of theta in that case this angle call is called angle of depression but again it is with the horizontal which is same as angle of elevation right so so these two are related angles which are kind of same but different side right perspective depression looking downwards and elevation looking upwards but both are with the horizontal lines which are parallel as you can see right so i hope you'll have a good understanding of tangent ratios in the following examples thank you and all the best